What's up, Plane Crash Survivors? This is KG48, and welcome back to my Let's Play of The Forest. This is episode 28, and I am looking at my inventory here, and I gotta tell you, it looks kind of empty. I think we need to go on a, um, I think we need to go on a loot run. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some food, and we're gonna head on out and see what, see what we can find. I'm thinking I won't go to the same place, well, maybe I will go to the same place I normally go, but um, we're gonna hit some other spots on the way there, possibly, or maybe we won't go there at all. We'll see. I'd like to do something a little bit new, go to a new area. So, we'll, you know, we'll see how that goes. Uh, I want to continue building, but the fact of the matter is uh, I have not got any time to do any grinding off camera, so um, I don't want to bore you with uh, chopping down trees for the whole video. So, um, ooh, it looks like it's going to be nighttime, doesn't it? All right, tell you what. Let's go put these uh, logs in the building, and then we will try and pass the day or the night, and uh, that way we have a nice early morning. <clears throat> to be able to head on out and see what we can see. I really want to finish this building though, man. This building's freaking awesome. I love it. So, but we need to do some farming. I I picked up a couple new games uh, on my, my channel, uh, Mas Master of Orion and um, Subsistence. And, you know, Master of Orion doesn't take much to do videos. Like I sit down and 25 minutes later I have a video. It's very it's very much the same as, um, as Civilization V. Uh, so that's fine, but subsistence takes quite a bit of grinding. Subsistence is kind of, um, open world strategy game. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Rust, except, um, it's more PvE focused. And, um, you know me, I like, I love the PvE focused stuff, so. Uh, yeah, so that's what I've been, uh, playing. And it's been a lot of grinding, and I haven't had so much time to, to grind in the forest. Um, you know, between, also between the husband and wife videos I do, and the forest video, the multiplayer videos I do with, uh, um, with game game edge uh, I haven't had so much time to <clears throat> to farm as I'd like to but I'll definitely cut some trees well I'm, I'm not gonna say definitely because you never know but I will really try hard to cut down some trees um, in between these next two videos oh I forgot I had these logs over here that's cool all right that's actually really good that's good that'll give us a lot that'll give us a lot to do while we really wait for the darkness because in this game when you try and pass the nighttime uh, there's like a timer on your you know ability to sleep now so also there's gonna be an update tomorrow I'm um, just letting you guys know that this I think this is coming out the same day as the or maybe the day after the update so this is still 0.33 so if there's some big thing in the next update um, just know that I didn't get to this video is not gonna have it just to let you know so how many of you have been watching um, the multiplayer with uh, with Game Edge and me? Or I, I should say. Have you, been, have you guys been liking it? Um, when I first talked about the uh, multiplayer series of Game Edge, a lot of you guys seemed to be like, oh man, don't do not do so much less single player. Don't do less single player. And I was like, okay. You know, so I'm going to I'm gonna put up a, you know, I'm going to put up one single player a week just because I don't have time to do more right now. But, um, you know, now, like, when we put out the videos, I think we put out three already, people are just gung-ho. Nobody's talking about single player anymore. Like, oh, yeah, this is so cool. You know, multiplayer's, multiplayer's really fun. You can get a lot more done. Uh, I think we're on episode... Well, I don't want to spoil too much about what we've been doing, but let me just uh, say this. We've been getting a lot done. A lot more than you can in single player. That's for damn sure. I'm going to have to cut down a lot of trees off camera. Sounds like we got some buddies out there. We might not even get to exploring much this, this video, but we'll see. We'll see. Maybe I'll start exploring this video and then we'll... Uh, oh, no, you know what? I can't... I gotta make sure I end the video at my camp because, uh, you know, if I want to save the game... No, that's that's actually rough. I like this little area right here. It's really nice. Something up there? Is that wood or something? Alright, so... You know what, let's pass the, let's pass the, uh, well, actually we haven't, we haven't been playing long, it's okay. We can, uh, run a few more logs up there. Okay. Yeah, Game Edge, um, man, he just comes up with some crazy stuff with this game. Uh, I don't know how he comes up with it, but he's, he's an excellent builder. Um, if this was, like, my main game on my channel, I, I might be able to put more time, time into, like, doing those kind of builds, but it's, it's kind of difficult, like, I only have so much time, so I try and keep you entertained with my, um, with my commentary, my witty commentary, you know, witty in, uh, in quotes. Um, yeah, seem to be having a good time. The, 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 the series does very well, so. It's pretty cool. And multiplayer is multiplayer's really done well. So that, that makes me happy. Alright, uh, two more trips and then we'll, uh, we'll pass the night and then we'll go exploring. 
I don't know if we have a pest of night with the... Uh, I know you guys can hear the cannibals out there. I don't know if... Um, I don't know if we can pass the night with them right there, but we're going to try. And if we can't, then we'll just kill them. Um, again, no spoilers for the uh, for the for the series with me and Game Edge, but we did some epic epic crap. Uh, I think I don't remember what what episodes, maybe five and six or something. I, I don't remember which ones, but man, we did some epic crap, guys. Just make sure you watch those videos. Okay. All right, one more, and let's pass the night. Shut up over there. Actually, I should be killing him because I need—I want the bones. Should not let anyone go. It's pretty, di pretty disturbing, huh? Like, I need to kill him so I can get his bones. Like, you know, who's the good guy in this, in this uh, game? Yeah, I don't know. All right, I just want to stand out here. Like, this is, ugh, I just love this, this little deck right here. You know, and this deck was 100% organic building, and it might be my favorite thing in the whole in the whole base so far. Totally organic. I didn't I didn't really have much to do out here, so I made it. I had to make a deck because of the hole in the floor, and the hole in the floor like it just I don't know. It just it just looks good. I really I'm really happy with it. Really awesome. All right, enough patting myself on the back. You know, <laughs> let's uh let's pass the night. Get going. I should probably kill that guy if I can. Let's go ahead and have a seat here. Get some of our stamina back. That's what the seat does, by the way. It gets your stamina back. Okay, come on, come on, come on. I don't has all day. All right, it's good enough. Oh, there we go. Got a body. Good enough. Pick that up. Cool. Two bodies. Loving it. I don't think there's any more out there. So, let's burn them. Burn them! Yeah, I mean, really, like, my guy's kind of a psycho. You know? Like, oh, cool! Guys just died over there, and now we can get their bodies and burn them to turn it into armor like wow I don't even know what to say to that let's go ahead and eat some blueberries here we should probably be picking blueberries to take with us Actually, that's a good idea. Let's. Uh, I think this thing can fit thirty blueberries. I love having this blueberry pouch with me. Can't carry anymore. What is it? Thirty? Yeah, it's thirty. Okay, here we go. Bones for days. Yeah. In case you're just, in case you haven't been watching the whole Let's Play, um, bone armor is a godsend, and that's what I need the bones for. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Nah, just five. All right, let's put these away. All right, we've actually been running out of bones because, uh, because of the way I fight the um, the the mutants, like the, I'm gonna call them super mutants. Uh, I, like, I've been, like, trying to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them, which is really stupid. Um, you're better off just, uh, laying them on fire and getting out of their way while they burn. Um, it takes a little bit longer, but it's, it's, it's safer. Alright. Goodbye, nighttime. Let's put this away and let's get going. Alright, so, I'm actually gonna go to the camp I know just because I really need supplies badly and I can't afford to, to dick around, so... Let's just head to that place right there. Those white flags. And if we see any... We didn't need anything before we left, did we? Damn it. Alright, well. That's why we have the blueberries. Was that, ten blueberries? Eh, not bad. Not bad. I think I gotta keep out for some more blueberry bushes possibly on the way there. Oh, the plane. The plane! 
So how'd this plane get in here when all the trees are still, like, up around it? Like, the trees behind the plane should all be knocked down, right? If any mutants come at me, I'm gonna cut the goddamn heads off. Um, I don't really need what's in these, uh... What's in these suitcases for the most part. Um, the thing that I do need from the suitcases is alcohol. That's what I'm looking for right now. Actually, you know what? I don't remember seeing alcohol come out of a suitcase in a while. Did they, like, maybe... Do, does alcohol not drop in suitcases anymore? I don't know. Let's come on up here. Get some rancid food. It's good to go. Some more rancid food. Yeah. Rancid food! By the way, you can uh, use these trays in multiplayer if you guys have not been watching the multiplayer. You can pick up those trays in multiplayer and you can use that to hand things to the other player. Sometimes with uh, certain items it's a little buggy, but um, it's pretty cool. It's, it worked quite a bit when I was uh, when I was playing with Game Edge. If you guys have not been watching the multiplayer series, you really should. It's, it's excellent. It's a lot different than this one. But in a good way, you know? Like, they're both fun. It's just... Each one offers something different. So, what we got here? A campsite? Take that. What the hell is that? Probably just the wind. Is that a spear? Yep. Somebody said I could upgrade that spear with bones. I'll have to mess around with that at a later date. Can't do it right now. Oh, I could save right here. That's pretty cool. Okay. I think you could fish. Why don't we try and... F nah, I'll try and fish on the way back. Because the fish will go bad, you know, by the time I get back. Nope, here we go. Oh, this is the Katana Cave. This is where you used to get the Katana. Actually, if you go in that cave, you can get it in there. But I already have it. This is a pretty interesting cave. One time I did an autopsy on these guys. Um, if you guys had missed it, I, uh, I had a video where I... um. I just studied these bodies, and like I, I pondered what happened to them in what order, and what killed them, and like what, you know. I mean, obviously the, the cannibals killed them, but I meant like what exact wound, you know, officially killed them. So it's pretty, it's pretty interesting. Yeah, that's the katana cave. I'm pretty sure that's where you still get the katana inside the cave. Put some more of this on. Some more armor. Oh, that's another thing about multiplayer, guys. Oh man, go check out the multiplayer series. When people are in body are, are in um, bone armor, they look badass. Oh my god! Like you have like a uh, like a rib cage like chest plate, and you have like a piece of the guy's skull over your face. Oh, it's so cool. Like Game Edge put on his armor, and I looked at him. I was like, oh my god, that looks badass. Like if I saw someone running at me, it's. You know who it reminds me of? It reminds me of in Game of Thrones. Um, remember uh, the the wild bunch or whatever they're called? I don't know, if they're not the wild bunch, but the, the wildlings or whatever. Or maybe, um, I don't know what they're called, but they're the guys beyond the wall. Remember the uh, the guys that Jon Snow and the and the, uh, the, the, the Black Brothers or whatever they fight? Um, well, there's a guy over there called like Rattle Shirt or Bone Shirt or Bonehead or I don't know what they call him. But uh, I think it's rattle shirt or something. Uh, but he and he's like dec he's decorated. He's got bone armor. It's just like that, except not quite as detailed. But still, same idea. That's a really cool character, by the way. So you guys should definitely uh, check out Game of Thrones if you um if you are up for reading or you like Audible, um, Audible dot com. Definitely get the books. If you don't, if you're not into that kind of stuff, and you would just prefer to um. Sorry. If you're not into that kind of stuff and you just prefer to read it, then um, definitely get the books. Get the audiobooks or the books. Or or if you don't want to read and you don't want to listen to them, uh, watch them on HBO. Because Game of Thrones is fantastic. Just saying. We need that stuff for bombs. Hmm, nobody here, huh? I'm a little surprised, I must say. Uh... 
dynamite! Alright, we're getting stocked up. Oh, that's another thing you can get from the, uh... Um, uh, from the luggage that you can't get anywhere else, except for killing mutants, is, um, the candy bars. Not really a big deal for me, honestly. I don't really need candy bars, but... You can get them. Thought I heard something. Hmm. Maybe not. I need the rope! What I... Jesus, man. What I really need here more than anything, honestly, it's cloth. Ooh, kill some birds, too. Damn it! I'm not good at killing birds. Oh, damn it. Freaking bird. At least he left me a feather. Okay, so the only way I'm ever going to kill a bird is if he just flies right in front of me and basically lets me do it. <sighs> I'll take it. It looks like the, it looks like they have a certain spot that the birds like. Like It looks like they're programmed to come to a certain spot to land. So all you have to do is wait here. See? Damn. I hate you! See, the nice thing about the katana is it's got range, so you don't have to get anywhere near as close to the birds as you normally do. Damn it. I'm like the worst bird killer ever. It sucks, because I'm so bad at it, but I have, I, it's so fun. Can't be running out of stamina here. If we get jumped, we'd be in trouble. Might as well keep getting... I mean, get the feathers while you can, right? Son of a bitch. Cool. So how many can you hold? Should probably make some arrows, right? Oops. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait. Just five. Okay. Yeah, you stupid bluebird. I hate you. I hate the Blue Jays. I don't know, it's a baseball team. I don't really, I don't really think that's the Blue Jays. Alright. I really should keep getting more feathers, but... Um, yeah, I mean, there's no um or uhs about it. I definitely should. We gotta get cloth, though. <laughs> Playing with Game Edge is really funny because uh, he lives in, like a, 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 like, a snow biome in his Let's Play. So we play together. We live in the forest biome. And he just, like, he gets so excited when he sees plants. Like, he picks them up. He's like, oh, Cage, you just ran by a bunch of plants. You gotta pick them. What are you doing? And I'm like, man, they're all over the place. He's like, oh, yeah, that's true. And he's just used to... He's used to living in an area where there's no plants, so when he sees them, he gets all excited. It's freaking hilarious. Alrighty then. So how much uh, cloth do I have now? 87, not bad. Probably gonna have to come back here. I usually like to have triple digits in cloth. And you really want to have a lot of cloth, especially if you're going to, like, go into the caves. Um, like, Game and, Game and I went into the caves, like, on our Let's Play. And, like, we, I'm not, again, no spoilers, but I'm just going to let you know. We ran out of cloth inside the cave. It's terrible. It's the worst. All right, let's go ahead and make some. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I should also put some on this, shouldn't I? Ooh, 37 sap. I've been doing good. So 
So the idea is the modern axe is the strong axe, but it's a little on the slow side. So you put feathers on it to make it quicker. And that's just for chopping trees. I can't carry any more meat. Yeah, look at the birds over here. There's just a bunch of corpses. All right, let's get out of here. I've been here for too long as it is. I can't believe I haven't seen any, um, any creepy crawly guys. or Not creepy crawly, but, you know, any dirt bags. <laughs> I don't know what you want to call them. We can hold one more soda, can't we? Yeah. Have I gotten any? Yeah, I've only gotten two things of alcohol. That sucks. But I can make bombs now. Check it out. There we go. I don't think there's much more for me here. Let's just make sure we're full of sodas because soda's a really, really awesome thing to have. And uh, let's get out of here. Oh, here we go. We gonna dance or what? By the way, please let me put cloth on the katana and like light it on fire. That'd be so cool. Oh, I've never tried. I know you can't, but oh, you can't even put the katana in the middle. Of, you can't even do anything with the katana. That's a bummer. So should we hunt these douchebags? Fresh meat's still good. If we can get back and get this meat on the drying rack, that'd be pretty cool. Coming through, cannibals. Make way for cage. I'm coming through. You're gonna make way or I'm gonna move you. You will go to sleep or I will sing you a lullaby. What movie's that from? Or, you will go to sleep or I will put you to sleep. I don't know what that's from, actually. I know I heard it somewhere. I just, I don't know. Oh, we got some guys over there. We're gonna leave them alone. We're gonna leave them alone. Hopefully they'll wander towards my base and then I can like, because if I can kill them at my base and I can burn them. I don't want to burn corpses out here because it slows me down. Like being out in the, being out like this, like I don't like it. it. It makes me very vulnerable. So I try and avoid it. Looks like we're doing okay though. And I don't want to stay and wait for a bunch of bodies to burn. That would take forever. I really wish you had a place to put skulls because... Here's the thing, I have places, I, I I know I want to put skull skull lamps inside my house on the second story, but I don't know where I want to put them yet, so I can't, I you know, I'm stuck with four skull skulls and you can only hold four. So if I had somewhere to put them down, then that'd be cool, I could kill like some more cannibals, but now if I kill cannibals and I get their skulls, it's a waste because I, I can't carry them. As a matter of fact, I think we need to really work on the, I think we really need to start working on the house. All right, we don't need to drink anything. Let's just... Oh, you know what? I have energy mix. I forgot about that. Oh, let's get some of this. Whoa. What the hell's wrong with me? Oh, is me being covered in blood starting to affect me? Days survive, currently feeling good, sick, find aloe, infected. I must have ate something by mistake there. Alright. Well, we'll have some aloe. Did I eat that or throw it out? Pretty sure I ate it. Yep, we're good now. Now, did I get sick because I ate something, or did I get sick because I was covered in blood for so long? See, that's the thing. You're supposed to, like, uh, swim into the water to, to uh, wash yourself off if you're covered in blood. It's been saying that since the game released. You're covered in blood, wash yourself off, you're getting infected. It's nothing's ever, ever happened to me. People tell me in the comments, Cage, wash, your, wash yourself off, you're covered in blood uh, all the time. And I'm just like, yeah, whatever, you know, this has never done anything to me before. But I think I just got sick from it. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I think there's going to be a thing where you eventually have to sleep, too. You know, like, you're going to need sleep. 
like you know, like in real life. So, all right, home sweet home. All right, guys, I'm gonna call this one here. That is gonna be it for episode 28. We'll see you next time for episode 29. Till then, take it easy.